Before I get started, I'd like to explain my seven card Know Thyself or Know Yourself spread that I'll be using for the readings. I gave it this moniker because it's easy to understand the meaning of the three top cards of the spread. The top left hand card is what you know. The central card is what can be or is yours. And the card on the right is self or self-awareness. Three mini Rider weight cards will be the clarification cards underneath the main cards. And the card on the right will be the future card. I'll be using the Conley Tarot deck for all of the readings. And on with the readings. Hi there, Pig. Happy Chinese New Year's to you. Let's get started with the reading here. And on the top left of what you know is the Four of Swords. You're in a respite right now from challenging difficulties. Evidently, you've given somebody pain, or some people have given you pain, and you're isolating yourself from this pain and thinking over what the purpose of your life is. You realize, too, that the hatchet or the, the swords have not been buried, and that in the near future, there's going to be more challenges and conflicts, and you're recharging your battery for this. This little time out is having you review things like money, health, and love problems, but I usually don't explain the illustrations on these cards, but something jumped out at me here, and it's the ribbon that's holding the four handles of the swords that are tying them, the four swords together. And I think in this instance, there's a lot of things involved and the problems that you're having right now and why life hasn't turned out quite the way you wanted it to. Right now you're looking at putting things in perspective and looking for a more objective viewpoint. A lot of times in the heat of the battle or a conflict, a person is more subjective because of their surroundings. And here you've isolated yourself from your surroundings to review what's going on, where you came from, where you're at, where are you going and actually who you want involved in your life from now on. So I think there's some people that have no longer serving you or, or, and are taking advantage of you because I see down here as the clarification card is the Seven of Swords. You've been betrayed, lied to, stolen from, or somebody's gained an advantage of you or taken advantage of you. But I have a feeling that, you know, with the swords cards being here and it being air, it's mind and communication so that there's been a lot of lying going on in this instance. Buddha said that there's three things that can't be hidden, and it's the sun, the moon, and the truth. And I believe that, and I believe now the truth is starting to surface because you're thinking very heavily about it, about what is the truth. The center card is what can be or is yours. This is the sudden change card, but I'm not feeling more like it's sudden change more than it's just a cornerstone that change is happening, change is occurring. It's a symbol that you're breaking these bad habits and routines that have happened over time that are no longer serving you and you're actually healing and preparing yourself for a final push of the battle. Mysteries are no longer an enigma to you. You're starting to figure things out with clarity. The fog is rising, and everything seems to be falling into place, and this is a cornerstone for you also to notice that 
yes, things are starting to fall into place. And all of a sudden you went to a flipping point. Somebody went past the boundaries and now you're going to start making boundaries. Here's the nine of wands. It's the number of completion. It's not the number of endings or beginnings, but completion. And here this man has fortified himself. He's resting as well as the one here in the Four of Swords. It's time to... You're wounded. You're hurt. You're taking a time out before going over, before leaping over some type of finish line. It could also be that you're part of a broken... Heart Club member here. I think we all have been. But I think you've been doing too much and probably doing it alone. I learned many years ago that you either have to do, drop, delegate, or delay. You do it right away. You drop it and don't need to deal with it any longer. You ask somebody else to do it for you or delay it. I send a letter out, wait for a response, so then I have more information, make a good decision. Up here, the self and a self-awareness is the sun. You're not basking or reveling in the sun from success. This is more of, of reveling over your enlightenment. You understand yourself. You understand what's happening here because you know you've had to go into isolation and think about where your life is going. You know things have not been good and people are stealing or lying from you. You know that you have to change. The sun is also a sign of eclipsing, eclipsing tribulations. It's shining a light on the truth, and I think that's what you're seeing now is truth. Underneath the sun card is the emperor. He's the man that controls his empire. He brings energy of structure and responsibility and order, and I think that's what's happening in your life. Is that Now you're taking control. The emperor also has spoken and written laws and rules, and I think you're starting to set rules and drawing the line in the sand saying, step over this, you know, just, just do it. You're now starting to take control of your life. This is a full circle. The four of swords and the four for the emperor are completely connected. You've gone full circle. Your future card is the fool. I never really thought of him as the fool. Actually, the court jester in any royal court was typically the most intelligent being in the court. It's now time that you embark on something new and a new journey, continuing in a new journey because You've been through all of the, the major arcana cards many, many times. You've learned a lot of lessons, and you've changed from these lessons. And now you're going to be walking the major arcana cards again with new eyes and a new enlightenment. You know, I was a little puzzled by whether this was health, money, love, uh, career problems. So I pulled some extra cards, and I got the four of wands. For some reason, you're, you are going to be reveling and celebrating, and other people will be celebrating with you. If you've noticed, there's a pattern to all of this. You have swords, mind and air. You have wands, fire energy, spiritual change and, and quick change. You've got the major arcana cards, the sun, the emperor, the fool. And here you've got another wand. Then I pulled another card because it didn't tell me anything in the moon card. Here it's deception. It's a major arcana card again too, so it's bringing things into a full body of, of feeling. One thing that I did notice right off the bat before I even started reading this is that I noticed four swords here and two swords that they, here, and they're all in the ground, and it made me think of the six of swords, so I pulled another card, and there was the six of swords. Now you're escaping. You're going, you're not really escaping. You're going to more calmer waters. And I thought, well, this doesn't tell me if it's health, money, love. And I pulled another card and you got the Ace of Swords. 
it's time for a new beginning. And here it is with your mind, your communication. You're taking control over here by being the emperor. It's going to be a very interesting year for you. This was a very interesting spread, actually. And I hope you have a great Chinese New Year and Happy New Year again. <laughs>